It has been snowing for about 26 hours. I'm gonna take this one out on the leash so I don't lose her. All right, let's go out. I'll be back on. I don't think I would really lose her, but Joel just went to get the plow truck we're still borrowing because our skid loader still isn't working. And I didn't want her to follow him. He just went down the driveway. She loves to chase the cars. Don't you? Thankfully, it's been a light snow. It started snowing yesterday morning, like 7 a.m. That's like 9 a.m. now. And it just keeps snowing. I know there are blizzard warnings in the other parts of the state, but here we've just kind of been getting this fluffy snow. So it makes for a lot of snow removal today. We've had a lot of days with negative temps. So Joel has been working on pushing snow up to the deck here and burying the sides of the house. You can see along the side of the house here that all that space that Evie used to go and lay under the house is gone. <laughs> now he's working on kind of burying the porch. Eric's room, the room we're building for Eric right now is really cold. It's uh, once we put that wall up, it kind of blocked it off from all the heat that was in that room. <laughs> all the heat. <laughs> for those of you who have been here, no, there's not a lot of heat in that existing part of the cabin. The floor, we have in-floor heat in the addition, the new part, but the old part of the cabin. Without that fireplace, we would be really cold in there, but the fireplace keeps it just fine. The floor is kind of cold though. And once we put that wall up for Eric's room, it, kind of cut him off from the fireplace but we have a solution for that we're going to be adding a kind of a vent I guess it's essentially kind of like a, a fancy bathroom fan that goes up in the loft so it'll pull air from the hot loft which is a good eight degrees warmer than Eric's bedroom It'll pull it from the loft down into his bedroom. Whew. Negative two, but feels like negative 21. I believe it. I should have brought my mittens. Okay, Evie. And here is the state of the greenhouse. I think about it a lot. This way. Wondering. How is all of that snow not going to melt and just fill up the bottom of the greenhouse? I should have put my snow pants on. Oh, I bet we've got a good six inches here since it started. Evie, we're going to have to turn back. I'm getting wet. All right, a little farther. I'm going to follow in your footsteps. Your boots are just getting buried here. So these days you see everybody starting their seeds. I'm not able to start my seeds. I don't have any place to put them. So I'm hoping that the geothermal greenhouse, when it's finished, is going to sprout seeds so quickly that I won't need to have started them in February. Which starting seeds in Minnesota, we're in zone three. We would want to do that about now for things like tomatoes and peppers. 
My house is still full of construction materials and I probably could start seeds and find space if all of that stuff wasn't in there, but it's still in there. Oh good, tire tracks. We can walk in those, Evie. Oh, other way. This way, we're gonna go this way. Come on. Yeah, we can walk in the tire tracks. Sure is pretty. Hard to believe I'm gonna have chickens here in May. That is a lot of snow. I could be living in mud. Yeah, something I didn't mention. We ordered our chickens, 30 of them. They'll be here the week of middle of May, which will be good because by then we will have the chick shop built. Even though I'd like to have gotten them last fall, we just didn't have anywhere to put them. We're back, Evie. I'm excited about getting the chickens. I think Owen's excited, and Eric actually. They'll probably be less excited when they see all the poop. We are doing the Premier One electric fence method, and we'll see how many predator problems we have. But February is still here. It's been a long February. I'm ready to get started in that greenhouse again, and be working on stuff outside rather than indoor trim and bedroom walls and we'll start working on the flooring next week I think we have it all here we're just waiting to get all the stuff I'll show you the more stuff that's in here the more we have to move so once all of this kind of stuff is out of here it'll make flooring a lot easier to do I feel like I'm walking on stilts. I've got so much snow built up in my boots. How about you, snow dog? been like two days of snow removal we're getting to the end now we found a cool new tool that we're gonna show you I've got two roof rakes here. This is mine, old school one. It's what's called a roof razor. It's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna do my old one. I can only you know, reach so far. I guess I have more poles, but I don't have them on. But I have to pull all of the weight down on my own. But with this guy, this is a heavy duty tarp material. I don't have to do any pulling. Wow. It all slides right down the tarp. <laughs> if I just go in a little ways with the snow, into the snow, it'll dump off of the tarp. So it all, you know, the snow won't come at me. So, see how it dumps off the side? Yeah. I don't have to do any pulling that snow down. This is amazing. And look at how deep it is up there. <laughs> we 
Well, I know where I'll find Joel when I can't find him inside the house now. And you said, where is the roof razor made? Ely, Minnesota. It's pretty sweet. Some genius up there. <laughs> Gravity does all the work. Nina, are you going to try? Well, the snow finally stopped. I think we figure we got about eight inches. It's a beautiful, sunny, clear, cold day.